So in today's video, I am going to show you how I created this concept art. This is not a full recorded process, but rather a quick scene breakdown. So with this one, I had a rough idea about what to create, and the idea was to make something related to clans, you know, or tribes of Africa. And generally, I made a basic story in my head about what this tribe is and what world they live in. I made a rough sketch about it too. Now talking about this tribe and the story behind them, basically this tribe is cannibal. They eliminate other tribes and take over their land. And they have these structures, which are kind of like inspired by these granaries I found on Pinterest. I drew some sketches about the look of these structures. So this tribe decapitates the victims and then store the parts and organs in these granaries. And they hang some of the corpses to install fear among other tribes. Just as an example. And for the environment, I wanted to be at like a muddy grassland swamp like with mountains in the background. Let's talk about the overall environment now. I could have made the environment in 3D using Gaia or World Creator to create landscape and mountains and then scattering vegetation and so on. But I found a perfect photo matching my idea. So why to waste energy creating that in 3D? It obviously would have taken a lot of time and resources. It's better to use real photos whenever possible. 3D can't match the real thing. So after the environment was sorted out, I decided to model the granaries and the other 3D models and assemble the scene. We'll talk about the lighting afterwards. I started with the body of the structure first. And it's a cylinder and I use proportional editing to make it like this. Nothing complex. The texture is this. And these logs or wood, tree branches, whatever, it's from Megascans. These vines I made using Bezier Circle. Let me show you quickly. You can use Geo nodes to make these. But I'm not well used to them, so I did not use them.
And these small ones are also bezier circles just to give the illusion of ropes. Let me show how I made the thatched roof above. I actually learned this from Covingsworth's channel. I will link the video in the description. After this, the bodies I got them from Sketchfab. I edited them according to my needs using the edit mode. For the characters, I used Sketchfab again and posed them using Mixamo. I wanted one character to be the tribe leader, so I made him a bit taller than the rest. Also, I gave him this cloth. I got this from Closet website. It's an army poncho, and I edited it. I deleted its hoodie and placed it on the leader, then used edit mode and proportional editing and some very basic sculpting to fit the cloth on him. It's not even perfectly fitting him. Then gave it a tribal material. It is just an image. And for the horns, this is again just a cylinder and I sculpted it a bit. And this is another cylinder again sculpted roughly. Then the horns are cylinders too with a sub D modifier and simple to four modifiers. And I gave it a material then. This material. And this jewelry is cube, cylinder, and sphere, and they are following the curve. This is the way I made it. Now after that, it was just importing the image and then set up the models accordingly. 
so that they match the image perspective. As you can see, some things are so out of place, but it looks good from the camera view, and that's what matters mainly. Now for the lighting, there's nothing much to explain to be honest. I used an HDRI, which I felt matches the lighting of the background image and did some tweaks, such as using the hue saturation node to change the color a bit and rotated the HDRI. That's all. Also, I used a plane as a light blocker. It's not doing much, but it's there. After this, I rendered the image and did some editing in Photoshop. Here's the render. First, I opened the background image and placed the render over it. Then, painted out the details. Firstly, putting a mask on the render to make it blend. Then added reflection on the water and painted some grass. Then faded the far away granary. After that, lightened the characters a bit. Now this layer is actually adding a subtle green tint on their legs at the bottom. Very subtle. Only at 16%. Then added some random tribal tattoos. Drew them using a round brush and put it to luminosity and added blend if for better blending with the skin. Here's some small paint overs to the middle structure. Added some ropes using brush. After that, some color correction. And in the end, I added some haze to the background mountains so that the far away structure can be visible clearly. Otherwise, it was blending in with the mountains. And that's all for this breakdown. Sorry for this kind of breakdown. When I made some of these artworks, I had no plan on making a YouTube channel at that time, so I didn't record the process. 
Thanks for watching. I appreciate your support.